Let's go. Fill the air, JTEC. Uh, so we're going over turbos, uh, precision measuring of turbos, removal insulation, what to do. Uh, we're going to get our in-play measurements, our radio measurements, and our housing clearances of the turbo wheels themselves. Uh, so let's get to it. The first measure is going to be our housing clearance, which is between the turbine blades and the housing itself. It's going to be our first measure first because if it's touching the housing at all, then the cartridge section of the turbo is bad and there's no reason of doing any other measurements. But this one is good, it's reading five thousandths of an inch, it's not touching, there's no scoring, it's spinning smoothly. So now we're getting on the other measurements. Next measurement is going to be our end of play, which is just the shaft play back and forth. The dial indicator, we're going to push on it and see what we get. We get about eight thousandths of an inch play on the shaft. Next, we're going to do our radio measurements. For the radio measurement, the proper way of doing it is to go in through the old drain line, put on your dial indicator. to hit the shaft down there, the turbine shaft, spin it, and see if there's any kind of deflection. However, since we can't reach, or our dollar indicator can't reach, we're going to take it apart and measure it that way. So, see you then. Now that we have it undone for the insides, we're just going to take a measurement of our radio play, push all the radio up, about 11 thousandths play so that's it for this video i just want to go over some basic components uh some other points of interest and that's it uh right here we have the exhaust housing the exhaust side of the housing which goes from the manifold um, then we have our cartridge section which is the actual bearings and the shaft and the the fans themselves, the compressor and the turbine. Uh, then over here is our intake housing. And like I said, uh, the measurements that we went over were the housing clearance, which should be the first measurement because if it's touching the housing at all, then there's no reason to measure anything else. It's bad, take it apart and replace the cartridge. If it's good, we can do the other measurements, which were the end play, which is the lateral movement from back and forth of the shaft, and then the radial play, which is side to side play of the shaft. And we got those measurements using feeler gauges and the dial indicator. Um, one thing to note, uh, there are different types of turbochargers here. It is a very basic uh, fixed geometry turbocharger. Uh, there are variable geometry turbochargers out there which pretty much are controlled by the ECM and they open and close different rates, uh, different sizes let different amount of air in. Um, but this one doesn't have it, it has just a set, set blades so there's only set air going into it which thusly is controlled by a wastegate uh, which lets out a certain amount of pressure so it's not over speeding. But this one doesn't have a waste gate on it, so I couldn't show you that. And another point of interest, lastly, is upon installation of a turbo, uh, if the cartridge has been changed, it does need to be primed with oil. Uh, you don't want to start up an engine with a new cartridge with no oil. Uh, so once it's installed on the engine, pump some oil into it. Other than that, that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.